Hey, what's going on? Charlie here with Max Cast Fishing. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Today I have been working on a transom reinforcement contraption. I don't know what you would call this thing, but uh, for those that uh, have a Pelican Bass Raider and run an outboard motor on it, you know that this transom right here will flex at this point. And so I wanted to try to figure out a way to reinforce this and make it to where it didn't flex when I was running the outboard motor. So far, this is what I came up with. And I kind of wanted to do this as a budget build and just used what I had at the house. And so I had a bunch of these extra fence post pickets. That's what these are, fence post pickets. And just started uh, cutting away and it kind of all came together. And now, um, I took this aluminum bracket off, slid it out, and then put a uh, screwed, uh, drilled two holes through this, and then put two little uh, stainless steel screws that screw up into up into it from underneath, and then I put it back on. So now that was this top part was attached to that metal bracket, and basically I just made this the width of the boat, and then added these side pieces on, and then took the handle that was here, took that out and just put some stainless steel. These are two and a half inch uh, stainless steel bolts with lock wash, uh, lock nuts. And then I just put a little uh, piece of wood just to kind of fill that gap. And then also put a little rubber washer that I had laying around the house. Uh, put four of those on, or two on each side. And what's nice about this is now when the when the motor's going see the motor would flex this way with a prop down down below everything would flex this way and now with this being all attached now the, when it's pulling this way it's gonna it's gonna have pull force here but also the the side wood contacts the boat right here so that also when that hits that down pressure it's gonna be a lot of that, uh, a lot of that stress and pressure is going to be distrib distributed through there as well, and and then I'm also going to put a little. Uh, I'm going to take some a little piece of metal and drill two holes in it and bend it at this angle, and then that way there's it has another attachment point. So all together there's there's one two or there will be one two three four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight attachment points for this. And once I get all this put together, I'm gonna sand it, make it look nice. And I think what I'm gonna do here is just add a little trim piece just to kind of clean that up. Add a little trim piece. And what's also kind of nice about this setup with, you know, it's kind of big, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. Is this also gives you an option to add like a, like another rear I wouldn't don't want to say casting deck, but I guess I suppose you could make it like a casting deck or like another just back deck and then have like a battery box or something like that. Because, I mean, realistically, you could take another piece of wood or plywood or whatever and, you know, secure it this way so you're not having to drill holes in the boat. So, anyways, but I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple and just uh, put this trim here for now, just kind of clean that up. And what else? Yeah, and then paint it. And then I also like this, having this, so I can start mounting stuff to this. Like I had this before, I had this little piece that I made that fit here. And I had, uh, when I ran a light, you know, if I was night fishing, I ran it in this little rail blazer mount. So now I can, attach stuff like that to this wood and I think once I get a fish finder I'll probably run the, the transom or the transducer rather off of this that way I'm not screwing things into the boat so anyways um, this is just kind of the start of it I'll uh, I'll make sure I put a link to the measurements um, in the description that way y'all have an idea and y'all could you know, make something like this if you wanted to as well and I'll also uh, later on in the video let me get this back. Also later on in the video, go out actually on the water with the motor and see if, if it did in fact made a, make a difference when 
um, I'm running the outboard motor. So, all right, stay tuned. All right, I just uh, unbolted everything and just wanted to show y'all. It's gonna flip this around. How I how I secured this this uh, metal transom bracket to this wood. So I just drilled some holes. Just picked two spots, drilled the holes, and and then I put a bigger drill bit in there, and didn't drill all the way through the metal. That way, it just it put a little angle, so that those screws would be in there a little bit more flush with the aluminum. So, anyways, just wanted to show you all that. Uh, I'm taking this off, so I'm gonna start sanding it. And once I get it sanded, I'm gonna paint it. I think I'm gonna paint it black, gray. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with black. But I guess y'all see here in a second. Oh, something else I did want to show y'all. Um, this piece, I left everything, I just cut everything square, uh, except for the these two pieces right here. Now, this one is a 45 degree cut, and this one, I'm really not sure. I, I wish I could tell y'all. I think it's maybe like a 35. The problem is, is my saw, the, the, indicator on it well i'm not gonna pull it out the indicator the sticker on there is all messed up and so i, I can't, unfortunately i don't know what uh, degree cut this is but basically what i did is i took a some scrap wood and just started making just changing the angle on the saw until i got that the right degree and then you know i cut the final piece so anyways uh yeah so i wish i could i, I wish i could articulate that better for y'all but I can't. Anyways, that's kind of what I did. Um, I just started making several cuts until I got it, until I got it right. So, all right, I'm gonna get this thing off, sand it down, and get it painted. All right, so we got it all sanded, and I'm gonna go with this matte black, and we're gonna start getting this thing painted. Yeah, you wanna say hi, bud? Hi. I bet y'all remember me. <laughs> I bet they do. All right, back up, man. I don't want you this paint on you. All right, so let me get this done, and I'll get back with y'all. All right, so I got it painted. Uh, of course, the outside looks a lot better. But I wanted to show y'all, these are the screws that I used to screw the uh, transom, the metal transom bracket to this uh, new wooden piece. These are just uh, three-quarter inch screws. And if you look closely, you can see how I... Just drill the hole and then use the bigger drill bit to make the taper. So get this get this bracket secured to this and get back with y'all. Alright, so I had these little uh, these little flat brackets um, here at the house and I just put a bend on them. That way when I put it in, put that in and I'll just put a little screw right there, stainless steel screw. And then I got one for the other side as well. So that's how that's gonna work. Let me get all this back mounted. Be right back with y'all. All right, so I've got it uh, all painted up and mounted back on the boat with the motor on there. And there it is. Pretty pleased with how it turned out. And I really do think that this is gonna help out a lot with that transom from flexing. Plus, I'm also uh, happy to have different mounting options for it as well. That's how it turned out. So, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Next thing is, I'm gonna get it out on the water and see if it works. All right, everybody, welcome back. I um, am out here at the pond now. I'm gonna test out the transom saver. I guess is what I'm gonna call it now. And we got it all on, we got the motor mounted, and we are gonna test this bad boy out, see if it works. So, all right, I'm gonna get it in the water and then I'll get back with you. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, already can tell a difference. Okay, yeah, that definitely 
definitely works out a lot better than it was. There's still just a little bit of flex, but for the most part, it's uh, it's working well. Let's, let's try it again. I'm gonna go just full throttle three on. All right, let's try. Well, I am happy with that. That is way better than before. I mean, before it was probably flexing to here, and now it might be flexing to there. So, yay for that. I'm excited. Overall, I'm super happy with how this is holding up right here in this area. This right here, you could see the plastic bend. I mean, it, it would fold quite a bit right here. And that's uh, barely doing that little. We'll do this again. That was full throttle, and I mean that thing maybe just moves just a hair. So awesome! I'm I'm super excited about this, and I'm also super excited that I have all this real estate to uh, mount things to now. So all right, well. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, I really appreciate the support. And if y'all would uh, hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, so test went well. I'm out here on the pond. I might as well do some fishing. Thank you all. See you.